All right, guys, this is my shorter video on how to do strong acid weak base titrations. Find the pH of a mixture of ammonia and hydrochloric acid where we're going to have some ammonia left. I'm just going to do it, show you how to do it. You want an explanation, find my longer 10 minute video. Step one, write the neutralization reaction. NH3 reacts with acid to give, in this case, the base steals the proton from the acid, you get ammonium and chlorine, or chloride, I should say. Step two, figure out how many moles of each reactant you have. That's N equals C times V. The number of moles is the concentration, 0.3 moles per liter, times the volume, 0.1 liters, 0 0.03 moles of that. Concentration times volume, 0 0.1, 0 0.18, gives 0 0.018. I don't start with any products, that's why they're called products. Figure out which of these is used up first. One to one ratio, so they're consumed at the same rate. But I start with fewer of these, so it will be the one to get used up. I'm going to lose all 0 0.018 moles of those, and because it's a one to one ratio, I will also lose 0 0.018 moles of that. One to one to one to one, they're all 0 0.018s. Beautiful. Now, now that I have my change in moles, I can get my final numbers of moles after the reaction happens. Turns out I have 0 0.012 moles of this left. I got none of this left because I rigged the question so that I'd use this up. I produced 0 0.018 moles of ammonium and I produced 0 0.18 moles of chloride. Chloride is the conjugate base of a strong, strong, strong acid, so it won't affect the pH at all. It's still in the solution, but it won't affect the pH. What affects the pH of the final solution is leftover ammonia and ammonium and the equilibrium between those two. The equilibrium between those two is the fact that when you put ammonia in water, it makes NH4 plus and gives you OH minus. That's what makes it a base. Now, what I'm going to do is create an ice table. But before I do that, I need concentrations. I divide by the total volume of solution. The total volume is 280 milliliters, 0.28 liters. So my initial concentration of NH3 is 0 0.012 divided by 0.28. That turns out to be... 0 0.04286 moles per liter. Water does not play a role in equilibrium because it's a liquid. Ammonium, the initial concentration is 0 0.018 divided by 0 0.28. I get 0 0.06429 moles per liter. And I didn't I haven't produced any OH minus yet. That's my initial concentration. My change lose reactant, gain product, gain product. My equilibrium concentrations are 0 0.04286 minus x, 0 0.06429 plus x, and x. That was significant because this reaction is what Kb is based off of. NH4 plus times OH minus divided by an H3. In this case, 0 0.06429 plus x times x divided by 0 0.04286 minus x. C. And I was given in the original question, Kb is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. That is a very low Kb, especially relative to these numbers. It's about a factor of a thousand off. So I'm going to venture a guess that these x's don't matter relative to the numbers that they're being added or subtracted from. That makes it easy to solve for my x. My x is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 times 0 0.04286 divided by 0 0.06429, which gives me 
uh, 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5. That's significant because x is OH minus, the concentration of OH minus. So to find the POH, I just take the negative log of that number. Can you see? There we go. The negative log of that number gives me 4.92. And the pH is 14 minus that number, which gives me 9.08. That makes sense. It's a basic pH because I had base left over after I used up all my strong acid. And that is as fast as I can personally do one of these titration questions. You don't have to worry. If, if, like, don't worry if you're taking six minutes to do it too, because your boy chemist Nate also takes six minutes apparently when he's rushing through it. Best of luck.